Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Style Society. Today's haul video is going to be a little bit different and that is not just winners and marshals this time. Very recently, it was my birthday and you gotta treat yourself on your big day. So I went and got a few things that I've been eyeing for some time as well as some things I saw that I liked. Nothing crazy this year, no big purse purchases like I did a few years back and no crazy jewelry purchases that I made last year. I think I've been pretty good this year. You guys know I'm always shopping and hauling so I do gotta watch my bank account every now and then. Fun fact about me that I wanted to share with you guys is that my husband and I share the same birthday. Same day, same month, same year. Kinda neat, right? There will be a giveaway in this video, so hang out with me to find out how to enter. Let's get started. From Sephora, I picked up only a few things because you guys know that Winners and Marshalls have been carrying so much good stuff lately in the beauty section that I don't really see a need to have to buy so much from Sephora anymore. Of course, first thing on the list was my birthday freebie. Make sure you are a beauty insider at Sephora if you shop there because these things are free year after year. I opted for the Bite Beauty gift instead of the Glam Glow gift because I did want to give this a try and because it's really hard to test lip products in the stores. The testers in the stores are full of bacteria so you really really do not want to put any of those products near your lips. If you guys haven't seen the CBC Marketplace video where they went around to various beauty stores in Toronto, including the Sephora at Toronto Eaton Center, which is the one I shop at, I will link it for you below so you can watch that. Prepare to be a little bit disgusted. I also picked up a Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot in the shade Martini. I've heard really good things about these eyeshadows, so I was excited to pick one up and try it out for myself. This is Martini close up. Let's go ahead and do a swatch. Look at that. Wow, that's so pretty. It's super silky smooth when you apply it and it just melts into the skin. Oh my goodness. Holy moly, it's so metallic. I love this. Really excited to give this one a try on the eyes. The last thing I got from Sephora was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. There's just been so much hype around this and so many people love it that I wanted to give it a try and see for myself what the big deal was about. There's the highlighter and as you can see, it's actually like a decent size for a highlighter. I don't think I'll get through this whole thing, but whatever, right? All right, so that looks actually really, really pretty. Has a really, really pretty metallic sheen to it and it's also buildable, which is great for those who want to have some extra more pop to your skin. I like how this is very soft and finely milled and that when you apply it to your skin, it doesn't emphasize any texture on your skin. Nordstrom Rack finally opened in downtown Toronto and of course I had to go check it out. The beauty section carried brands like Stila, Bobbi Brown, NYX, Smashbox, and Glam Glow. I find that the variety isn't quite as big as what the States offers where they do carry stuff from Urban Decay, to Faced, and Lorac. But here's to hoping that we will see brands like that in the very near future. The only thing I picked up from Nordstrom Rack were these earrings. Aren't they so pretty? These ones were $25.97 and just totally caught my eye and I knew I had to have them. Continuing on with some jewelry, I picked up a few small things from a store called Evernew. I got this set of rings for only $10. 
These are all layering pieces and I thought they were just super cute. I picked up a few more earrings. This set here was $17.99. This one was $14.99. This one was also $14.99. I really like the jewelry from Ever New because they look great, the quality is good, a lot of their things are hypoallergenic, and they're also affordable. If you're looking for some glamorous looking jewelry to match like an evening outfit or even on your wedding day, I would suggest checking out Ever New. I did pick up some things from Winners and Marshalls because you guys know that I love shopping there and there's just so many great steals and deals there that I just can't pass up. I got two perfumes from Chloe. These are both from the Love Story collection and this one is the Eau de Parfume. And this one is the O Sensuel. I've been eyeing these ever since I saw them at Winners and I finally decided to just grab them. I did pick up an extra one of this to include as one of my gifts to my mom for Mother's Day. I got a Tom Ford lipstick in the shade Paradiso. The packaging is simple yet gorgeous. This one is Paradiso. I was walking around HomeSense and this store mostly sells stuff like furniture, kitchen goods, and other home goods. So I wasn't really expecting to find any good makeup there. But, lo and behold, I found the Narcissus Cheek Palette. These are the colors and the Cheek Palette's name is called Unfiltered 2. I'm going to swatch this middle one here, and this one is called Undefeated. Alright, that's not a very dark shade. This one here is Fame. Kind of a peachy coral shade. Anyway, I thought it was pretty neat that I found something like this at HomeSense, so of course I had to pick it up. I've never seen this palette actually at Winners and Marshalls before, so there you go. I had to get it! From Winners, I picked up a mirror from the brand Impressions Vanity, and this one is the Bijou Handheld Mirror. This is the mirror and it's got little diamonds around it and I like this one because it actually detaches from the stand. Like so. So it's super easy to just hold up and do your makeup. It's also touch activated so you just tap the button to turn it on and off. It also charges by USB so I think that's pretty convenient. The only thing is I wish it came in white because my vanity is white and I think it would match better but I've looked around and I've only seen the black version at Winners and Marshalls. Next thing I got for myself was something from the Disney store and it's an Eeyore stuffy. Fun fact number two for you guys today is that my favorite Disney character is Eeyore if you haven't guessed by now and I do have over 70 Eeyore stuffies. The largest one I have is 5 feet tall. Couldn't leave him behind because look at this face. From the bay, I did pick up a few clothing items. I got this Vero Moda pleather jacket for $59. Another jacket that I picked up was the Helly Hansen Belfast rain jacket. And this one I got at a really good price because I had a coupon. And I only ended up paying $130 after taxes for this. The regular price is $185. Last thing I picked up from the bay was the sweater from the brand Only. I thought it was cute because I like the bell sleeves on the sweater. It has ties around it as well. And it was on sale for $22. It's also very, very soft. I'm probably not going to be able to wear this for some time now because it is starting to warm up in Toronto. Now let's talk about the fun stuff, which is the giveaway. I finally decided to do a giveaway because I've hit over 100 subscribers. Yay! Thank you.
thank you guys so much for all of your support and I just wanted to give back to you guys every time I go shopping at Winners and Marshalls I do think about you guys so I did pick up some things along the way to share with you guys there will be one winner and the winner is going to get a bunch of great stuff there's a single eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade brownie I have a NYX eyeshadow in the shade bedroom eyes then there's a pixie lipstick in the shade petal pink and I also have a Burt Speed Lip Shimmer in the shade Peony. You guys know I love nail polish, so I got a Butter London nail polish in the shade Keen. And I also got you guys a Burberry nail polish in the shade Bright Coral Red. That one looks like this. Then I also got you guys the Lipstick Queen Frog Prince Lip and Cheek Set. This one is super fun because the product looks green, but when you apply it, it's not green. This one is mine, and if you take a look, that is definitely green. Then I have a Marc Jacobs Kiss Pop in the shade Pop. So this is the tube. It's very, very cute, like a little crayon. And here is the shade Pop. And the winner will also receive a Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette. If you've been watching my videos, you will know that I have been looking for these eyeshadow palettes. And of course, I had to pick one up for you guys as well. The palette that the winner is going to receive is named The Tees, which is a set of really pretty purple shades. It's super easy to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to me, like the video, and leave me a comment below on anything. You can get an extra entry if you follow me on Instagram, like my post regarding the giveaway, and leave me a comment on that post. It's super easy on both platforms. Subscribe or follow, like, and then comment. The contest will end in two weeks, so make sure you enter if you want to win all the goodies that I picked up for you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching, thanks for hanging out, and good luck! I will see you in my next video! Bye!